Hello Gems! It is day two of the NASA social event that I am attending and it's launch day or launch night. <laughs> um, we have the launch tonight at 3.49 a.m. Eastern, so it's going to be a long night. But before I leave for the press office, um, I wanted to show you the swag that we got yesterday because I forgot to do that. So let's take a look. Here we have a lot of stickers, which I love. They're really, really cool. I love this one with just the logo for NASA. I will definitely use that. And then um, also a couple missions here as well. I also like this one with all of the flags on it here that represent all of the countries in the International Space Station. I think that that's really cool. And then of course here we have the sticker for the Crew 7 launch and it has all of their names on it and I think that's really awesome. We also got this sticker for astronaut Satoshi Furukawa from JAXA and I think that that's really awesome as well as a person who is part Japanese myself. There's also this little spaceman squishy and it's also a keychain. I think that's pretty cute. And we also have some pins here. I like this one also from JAXA for their astronaut who is on crew seven as well. And we also got some other pins for missions and the ISS. Here's the one for the ISS. I love that. That's really pretty. And then we also got the pin for Crew 7 that is the same as the sticker as well, but that's also super cool. And then we also got some pamphlets and uh, other things like that. Here's a NASA virtual guest passport, and it's just kind of like a play passport, I guess. And then we got a bookmark of the ISS. That's cool. And a postcard for the Kennedy Space Center as well. That's pretty cool. And then it has a spot on the back to write in. And we got a, I guess, postcard um, handout for the ISS some information there to read about what's happening up there. That's really cool. It's got this code. I'll hold it up here if you want to take a look at that. And we also got a uh, pamphlet book on ISS Expedition 69, which included Crew 6, who is up there now, actually. And the launch that we are seeing tonight is the Crew 7, which will um, replace all of the um, astronauts who were in Crew 6 because they have been up on the ISS for six months. And so now it's time to come home. That's pretty cool. And this I love. We got a nice uh, picture of the space station. Is this right side up? I guess so. This is great. I'll use this in my office You'll see it on my uh, streams and such. And there's some information on the back, too. That's pretty cool. And we also got another printout of the ISS here. These images are really beautiful. I just love them so much. Any information on the back? Yes. And last but not least, we got this awesome ISS National Laboratory mug. And it's one of those nice high quality ones that like keeps stuff cold or hot. I really, really love these. I'm super, I will use this all the time. This is my favorite piece of swag so far. I also wanted to mention that we did have a chance to shop yesterday for merch. So I picked up this NASA water bottle here and I really, really like these types that have the, you know, hard, hard snap that's really secure and I drink water all the time. So I'll use this a lot.
I'm about to leave for the um, press office. I just wanted to give you a little outfit of the day. I've got my Mickey astronaut with the flag, some je long jeans and sneakers and socks because bugs. So the launch has been scrubbed uh, for tonight. I have the option to kind of stay here at the hotel, but I think I'm going to head home because the next attempt will be tomorrow night, um, hopefully, but I just kind of want to go home. I miss my husband and my cat, so I'm going to pack up. It's after 11 o'clock at night, so I won't get home until 1.30, I guess. So yeah, let's uh, take a pause on this for right now and see what happens tomorrow. It is launch day the next day, and we're a go for launch. So the NASA social people have taken us over to where the crew's going to walk out, like the door where the Apollo 11 crew walked out, and how many other famous crews have walked out of this door. Now, we won't get a view of the actual door, um, but like the news media is here and their families are here. And this is just like a very energetic um, atmosphere. And it's crazy that I'm here. I just like watch these crews walk out of this door all of the time. I am a little bit like, eh, it kind of sucks that we're not going to see the actual door, but just to know that I'm in the vicinity of where, you know, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and people like that have been is just amazing. I love this so much. The astronauts have walked out. They are currently saying their goodbyes to their family and then they're gonna jump in the motorcade and they're gonna drive right by us. That was so amazing. We just got to watch Crew 7 come out, do their walkout, meet their families, say goodbye, get in their cars, and then go off to get on the rocket, which we're about to watch launch. I can't believe I'm here. This is crazy. Now we're just kind of hanging out until launch and um, back in the studio where we were for the live stream the other day and we're gonna go walk out where the news vans are and then head over to our viewing area for the launch. Here's the scene we're looking at right now. You can see all the news crews, news vans right in front of the VAB. There's some live streaming happening. And then our place to watch the launch is actually over there. I'll show you that in a minute. So over here, apparently, there's an interview happening with an astronaut. We're not exactly sure what that is, but still cool, huh? 
Now we're up close and personal with the countdown clock. Just about two and a half hours to go. You can feel the excitement in the air. People are really, really excited for this launch because it's a crewed launch. It's headed to the ISS. And there are four astronauts from four different countries and four different space agencies. And this is completely new. And I think everybody's just really inspired by all of this. I certainly am. So I think NASA took a tip from Disney and there's a merch truck here where we're all just coming to buy merch before the launch. And I got myself a shirt that I will show you a little bit later. Over here you can see there's clickorlando.com, some other news vans that we're passing by here. So cool. So now we're here in the media center and all the press is from all of the uh, agencies and everything and we're going to go get an up close and personal view on the broadcast. We are heading back out to our viewing area for the launch. It's just about 20 minutes away. We're walking over to where our launch viewing area is. You can see over here is the VAB. And then we've got some press people on the side here. But our viewing area is actually the closest that you can get to the launch. And we're closer than the media. <laughs> so here's the VAB and here is our NASA social viewing area for the launch. All right, we've got less than five minutes to go and I know it's hard to see because it's almost 3.20 in the morning, so it's pretty dark, but over there is the launcher where the crew is sitting atop their rocket right now. I am home now. Sorry, I could not record an outro on site because right after the launch, they kind of made us leave. And also it was so dark, you know, it was 3.30 in the morning. So, but I did promise you that I would show you the shirt I got at the merch cart that was out there, merch truck, whatever. So I got the official NASA Crew 7 shirt. That's what the front looks like. And then on the back, it has their crew logo as well. So what I like about this logo, it has all their names, but then also at the top of it is a dragon because the ship that they used um, was that, a dragon. So that's why that's there. 
And yeah, that was, that was an amazing event. And I just want to thank NASA for inviting me. Um, I know, I think, uh, previously I said that they, uh, had 2000 applicants, but today I heard that they had 6000. <laughs> so all of us that were selected for this were really, really excited. We all had a great time. I met a bunch of new friends that I will have for life. I'll keep in touch with everyone. If you're interested in attending a NASA social event, follow NASA social on all social media platforms. If you enjoyed this, please do like, subscribe, and share. That really helps me out. And also tell me in the comments what you love about space travel. And I enjoyed this more than you will ever know. And I'm really, really glad that I was able to take you along with me. And with that said, I hope you have a great day.